is Friday and today we are back at the Viking Festival and uh, hopefully today we won't miss the opening ceremony because we won't be distracted by all of the pretty things in the glass cases. We're going to keep going until we get to the opening ceremony. We're going in here. I think. No, 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 no. Looks like this is the place. Oh, cool. <laughs> Yes. I think this is a good fit. Stand by. Stand by the fire. And look at the soup with our helmets on. But this is my uh, my magical eye hat. It gives me special powers in battle. Okay, everyone, here we are in the Mead Hall with Mead. And I'm gonna try a little bit. Mead is like wine, but instead of using grapes, they use honey, so. It's very sweet. And it also has a uh, a taste to it that lets you know that you're you're drinking an alcoholic beverage. It's a cool glass. Back in the day, the the Vikings did not know how to make glass that had flat bottoms, so they made pointed glass and then they combined it with uh, with the metalworks to create these these little guys here. You end up with a nice little beverage container. It smells almost like white wine. It's light. You could go through a lot of that in a hurry. And it would be a bad idea because it's 15% alcohol by volume. So, um, I like it. I could drink this all night. But it's not night. It's the morning. So I'm not going to drink a whole lot of it because that would be a bad idea. Um, but there you have it, Mjord. Mm. Mm. Good. It's good for you. So, before I go to the Viking village, which is 12 million miles that way, I, uh, I plan on going through the audio tour of all of those cool artifacts we saw the last time, so I can find out what the heck they are. It will be a good time. Just a little bit this way. It's just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. Put your hands on your hips. All right, I'm done. It's, it's such a nice day. They said it was gonna rain. They said it was gonna rain all week. It probably will, if I'm honest. If we're realistic here, we're probably looking at a whole lot of rain. Okay, guys, we have to be very quiet and respectful, but I have this crazy little recorder here, and it's going to tell me all about the stuff in these cases. 2.6. One of the more special import objects found at Borg is this gold object. It was made using an advanced filigree technique and appears to have been mounted on something. It was most likely used as a pointer for when one was reading through holy books in churches and monasteries. Well, there you go. Now we know stuff that we didn't know before. Let's go take a look at these here swords. Horses were extremely important for the people of the Iron Age, both as a means of transport and as draft animals and mythical animals. The pyramid
Richard Bronze Object 4.2 is gilded and has a semi-precious gem at the top. It comes from an exquisite horse harness fitting, which is a rare find in Norway. The equipment of a warrior included an axe, sword and various spears as well as bow and arrow. 4.3 here we see a spear tip of the Peterson H type. Fancy. Now that we're finished learning about stuff, it's time for us to go have some fun. Gonna head on down to the Viking market, see what our people are up to. Don't you don't um, treat beauty like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs>